Hi, this is Kim with Mom's Creative Moments. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are visiting Ireland for my Ireland scrapbook again, and we're going to visit what they called an what they call an arcade mall, which is an indoor shopping experience similar to a mall we would have here in America, but on a much smaller scale. It was a it was a very fun. Um, a very fun adventure and I will tell you more about it when we get to assembling the page but this is one from the March creative memories virtual crop this is sketch number one that we're turning into a two-page layout um, so originally designed for, as a one-page layout and this will become a two-page layout let's check out my workspace and we'll get started all right so this is uh, the right hand side of the last Ireland layout that we did and today we are going to uh, proceed to the arcade we got to our so this is kind of fast forwarding because this is breakfast the next day after we arrived um, but backing up just a little bit because I put all the hotel pictures on the same layout that's why my chronology is a little bit out of whack here um, but going back to the the day that we arrived, we got to our hotel and our room wasn't quite ready, which I think I said in the last Irish Ireland video that we did. And so because our room wasn't quite ready, they recommended that we walk around the neighborhood and check out what was there. And they had said, the people at the hotel had suggested that we go to an indoor mall that was just down the road, like maybe two blocks from the entrance to our hotel. So we wandered down there just to check out what was in this um, little mall area. So that's what the photos are that we're going to work on today. It was called Georgia Street Arcade. I don't know if that's their... I don't know if all of their shopping malls are considered to be an arcade. When I think of an arcade, I think of video games. But this definitely was a mall. You can see my daughter here um, shopping for some photo prints. There was everything from apparel to um, jewelry. My mom bought the most beautiful clotter ring um, there and my my daughter reminded my mother that clotter rings are not considered good luck if they're not hand, you know, given to you as a gift. And um, my mom said, well, this is this is my husband's gift to me. This whole trip was my dad's gift um, at his passing. So my mom said, this is what I want and this is what dad is getting me. <laughs> so she bought it and it's very, very pretty. And I think it was a, a nice touch. You know, it's, it all, we'll always remember her of her trip, remind her of her trip, remember her. <laughs> we'll always remind her of her trip. So that's important. Anyway, those are the photos that are going to go on this layout today. And we're going to follow CM Virtual Crop 1 from the March Virtual Crop. Now, many people have approached this particular sketch in different ways. And see that the paper comes at an angle underneath the photos. Several people have tried, you know, cutting things at a 45 degree angle, which honestly is what I think I would have done. But... We had some people much smarter than I am who I initially designed the page from home office come to us and say, no, 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 there's a much easier way. So they showed us a much easier way and I'm inclined to agree that it is a much easier way. And I'm going to show that to you today. So I'm going to show you what I've got here. Um, these are not CM papers and I do apologize about that. But um, as you can imagine, St. Patrick's Day being one day out of the year here in America, there aren't a lot of Irish-related, Ireland-related papers to go to to do, a, to do a whole album or even two, which is what this one's going to end up being, I'm sure. The limited amount of papers we had from the National Scrapbook Day of 2021, which is perfect for Ireland photos, but to do a whole album in just those 
three or four different options of paper is just not going to work. So I had to sort of branch out. These papers, I believe I got from scrapbook.com and they are double sided just like most CM paper is. However, these papers are kind of shiny, which is a little bit different. Our paper isn't typically shiny and they are of a heavier weight, almost a cardstock weight. So that is a little bit different. This is cardstock that has been embossed. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, probably not too well. I guess they're a little bit, you can see it. Can you see the hearts that are on this paper, embossed on this paper? There, that, that kind of helps a little bit. You can see the shadows. Anyway, I'm going to use this paper to mat my photos. It will match the gold in this paper with the horseshoes and the coins and the pots of gold and things. This paper is mainly shamrocks and the gingham on the other side, but I don't think we're using the gingham. I think I'm planned on using the other and we're going to use this side of this paper. So this paper will probably be all used up and we'll use a little bit of this one. Anyway, let's get started. We're going to cut a couple of these and then we will get to assembling. I'm going to grab my trimmer, bring that in here, and you can see that each of these lines is a different width. We have a few measurements, but I'm kind of making it up as I go for the other strips that are on the, on the in-between for these. So um, I'm going to make this top strip and this bottom strip each one inch and the one in between three quarters of an inch because on the diagram here, you can see it is a little bit more narrow. And then these strips down here, for the corner are a two inch square. Okay, so this is what we're going to do for this. We're going to cut a two inch piece of the hats and horseshoes. Okay, so I'm going to turn this so that the top of the sheet is over here because this is a directional sheet. And I'm going to cut a two inch. I'm gonna cut, um, how many? I'm going to cut four two inch pieces of and four. Okay. And then going to flip this over and we're going to cut two one inch pieces. Actually, I need four one inch pieces. One, two, three, four. Wow, that one did not stay where it needed to be. You could see how that was moving, I think. So we're going to stick this guy down so that he does not shift. And I can get that little tiny bit of an edge off. Okay, so we'll stick that right there like so. Let's start from this end. I'm just going to use my hands to kind of reinforce it just a little to keep it from shifting out of the way. There we go. That I wanted to make sure that was straight. Okay. I'm just going to rub off my, the adhesive off my trimmer. Okay, there we go. So we've got our four one inch strips for the bottom. Now we need a few more. But until let me let me uh, go ahead and cut these in the meantime. So we're going to need four two inch strips of the this larger shamrock. So there is our four pieces of that. Now we need four more pieces that are one inch. Three, 
three and four. I think, I think we'll do a plaid down the middle. So this one's going to be four pieces that are three quarters of an inch. All right. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now I have all the pieces that I need and we're going to get these two down here from what we cut off from the rest. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this is going to come together. So we have two of these that are one inch that are going to go First of all, we're going to adhere them together at a 90 degree angle. So we've cut these two strips. We're going to adhere them just like that. Okay, so they look like they could be one, one piece. Okay, then we're going to take and I'm not putting adhesive down all the way, all the whole length, because we know that we don't need it, that, that much of it. Okay, we're going to have it go off the top of our page. And I want it to be as centered as possible, except that I have seen some where the angle is slightly off and I actually really like, I really like that feeling that the angle is just slightly off. So I'm going to put this so that the point is basically down the left or the center. Wait a minute, which side am I working on? This is the right hand side. So we're going to turn it the other way so that the angle is about four inches in. So I'm going to put my plate or put my plate. I'm going to put my page about four inches. So this point is about four inches in from the edge of my jeeping. Okay. And then I'm going to just turn it until I, it's an angle I like. So I think I'm going to go with that one. Maybe we'll do a little bit higher so that there we go. Let's do that. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that down. Now, the next piece that goes in there is meant to be this piece. Okay, this is two inches and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to adhere it to the other one to create that 90 degree angle. Okay, we're going to add our adhesive in. Okay, now this is where the little bit of trickiness comes because we want to make sure that we have that angle correct. Okay, so like that. Work. The three quarter inch pieces are what, what I'm looking for next of the gingham. And I'm going to just check them and see if any of them are even remotely like this one. So that they might kind of go together. Not, not really. So we'll just go with that. And I'm going to place this on here, but like, like I did with that last one, I may need to adjust it. Okay, so 
and we'll go back and check our edges to make sure after we trim these to make sure that we have caught all the paper and it is properly adhered to our page. So give me a second here. I'm just trying to make sure. And I'm covering a multitude of sins, you might notice. See how this one is a little bit sticking out? But I can cover that with my other paper. So this piece will cover the next one. Like so. Does that make sense? I hope it does. All right. And since this one is going to come off of the edge down here, I am just going to, I'm gonna estimate where that's gonna be. I want this to go, hang on just a moment, I'm sorry. I need to make sure that it's covering my page, so I'm, I need a little bit more adhesive. That's what I need, all right. So I'm going to make sure this point up here is on the page and then go like so. And then this one, this one won't require quite so much because it's coming right off the page up here on top. So we're going to make it go down to the bottom and then we're going to follow it, follow the edge to the side of our page. Okay. Now we have one more that needs to go on here still. I know that I, maybe I should have started this a little bit higher because all of the design is not going to fit. So let's see, maybe we can move it up just a little. That's the beauty of our repositionable adhesive, right? All of our angles are right now, so as long as they come up all in one piece, we should be good. But this is not going to be in the right. Okay, let me redo my measurements here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that is actually pretty close still to four inches over. So that's good. Okay, so now we have these one inch pieces that need to go down. And we're going to do this one the same way we did the other by. the corner here at the jeeping so that we make sure we've got it the span of the page all right there we go okay now what we need to do is trim off the edges of this okay so the edges that are overlapping on the top are easy, but the ones on the sides are a little bit trickier. I'm going to grab my nine by th my uh, zero centering ruler. I'm going to line my page up on uh, so that the um, one of the inch lines on my mat is right at the edge of my jeeping here, and then that way 
if my page is straight, I should be able to line up my ruler and cut this. Okay, I'm going to grab my X-Acto knife out of my drawer. Now, when I do this, I'm going to, I'm only going to worry about coming to the end of my page right here. Okay, but I do still want to make sure it's straight. So I'm lining it up right up here with that, that line on my mat and lining it up here with the line on my paper. And I'm, only try I'm trying to only press hard enough to go through the paper not the page okay like that so now i'm going to come up here and do the same thing with this one okay and i should be able to take my scissors and trim rest of this. Okay, so there's that side. Let's turn this around and we'll do this side. Once again, I'm going to line up my page so that I know it's level using the lines on my grid and the lines with my jeeping. And we're going to just cut just hard enough to go through the paper. And then we're going to trim the rest of it. All right, so like that. Now, the question is, do we need these little bits which you can't see anymore because I've covered them with my scraps. But these little bits on the corners down here, we might need one here in the middle, but I don't think we need one anywhere else. Oh, I forgot I need to trim this little bit down here. All right, so let's look at that when we have the other side finished, okay? And I don't know if it's important, but my angle is actually going like this on my page. So hmm. when we have our um, pictures on there, it might not be as noticeable. But that is, that is what, it, what has happened to mine. So it is what it is, I guess. All right. So we're going to do the same thing but on this left hand side of the page and I would like it to be flipped. I want it to be as balanced as possible. So let me just rub off this extra adhesive so this is not catching things on it. Okay, so that one is done for now. So setting that one up here for a minute.
I'm going to save these pieces and we'll determine whether we need that extra triangle. For now, let's just look at our photos. I'm going to look at my photos and see what else needs to happen or where we can place them, I mean. Left side of the page, here is the right side of the page. I'm so glad we off-centered that. I like it that way. Okay. And then we're going to take our photos, which we are going to, I am going to need to trim these just a little bit, shorten them up some, crop them. And so St. George's Arcade, that's kind of a, that's kind of a title. We'll stick that one up there. And then let's see. Let's see. This one's good for kind of the scope of things. This one could probably be a four by four. We'll add this, all of the ones of my mom and her cute shopping. I'm not sure we need this one because we have everything that's in this. You can see in these other photos. So I think I'm going to not include that picture. These are some photos of some other shops in and around the area. So let me get my trimmer and let's let's trim the up, trim these up just a little bit. The lady at this shop was so kind to my mom. She really was very, very sweet and helped her purchase her clatter ring. So my mom was very happy and um, they did not have her size in stock, so she had to order it and because this was literally the first day that we arrived, by the time we got home, my mom only waited maybe just a, a few days, not very long at all, but just a few days, and her ring arrived. She was so excited. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and matte all of these photos in the gold color. As I said, this is some um, embossed paper. It is acid and lignin free, but it is not creative memories. I honestly can't even tell you where I got this, so <laughs> I apologize. But I picked it up at a crop that I attended and I don't know where the woman I got it from um, obtained it, but she had huge um, boxes full of cardstock. And she was looking for people interested in taking it home. So I got some. And I'm glad I did, because it's very cute. And you can't really tell that it's embossed once you put your photos on it, unfortunately. But its I know it's there, so it's okay. This shop right here called Needful Things was just something that we happened to see. And my kids thought it was apropos. We were going shopping and we found a shop that basically said, you need everything in here. <laughs> they thought was very fun. Okay, so something like that. We're not gonna not gonna glue those down just yet because I still need to do these over here. So 
So I should mention, just real quick, if you're still watching, and I hope that you are, if you've been enjoying the new, little bit of new style of videos that I've been putting up the last couple of weeks, would you make a comment to that effect in on my page? That'd be great. My sweet husband is being has been my editor on most of these videos that have come out in the last couple of weeks. Um, as we're trying a new video editing software, and it would make him feel good if you could tell him what you think. He's having fun with special effects and zooming in to give you a better view on those occasions when it's necessary. So hopefully that's been helpful for you. All right, so let me come back here. So part of the uniqueness of this sketch is you'll notice all these photos are a little bit like an embellishment cluster. They are overlapping each other and um, getting friendly, as they say. So um, it's a little bit of a different style than what I'm used to, but I'm gonna try it and see if I can make it work here. So let's see. Um, we could cover me up. I don't really need to be seen in this quite so much. Uh-oh. I set that down and it grabbed on right away. Okay, I think we'll leave that there. This one... This one I need to make sure is straight. That'll work. And then this one is just kind of of the street. So I probably should have put this one behind because it's not really as important necessarily as these two. That was poor planning on my part. Let's see if I can fix it. I kind of did that because of the... Oh, hang on. I'm pulling up my, my background paper. Okay. So if I want these, if I want this one to be kind of front, we can overlap this one just a smidge in the back. We were headed to the mall in this picture, so and it really probably should be on the other page, but that's okay me and my chronological brain. We'll do a little bit like, like so. Hmm. I don't know if I like that, but Maybe. Hmm. Maybe I ought to layer them the other way. I'm so sorry. This is not so straightforward because it's a different way of organizing or laying out your photos than what I typically do. So I appreciate your patience with me and with doing this. Hmm. 
<laughs> my photos are just not quite what I would have wanted. We can kind of do like like that. How's that? You gotta work with what you got, I suppose, right? Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. Crooked. Oh, that's part of the reason it looks like my adhesive came off on my photo. So let me get that off, tuck it underneath the picture. Okay, there's that one. Let's figure out these on this page. This page is going to look a little different than the example because I've got four photos instead of just three. But that's okay. We'll make this one just a little bit higher since it's kind of a, kind of a title one. Title piece. Let's see about this. I think we'll do like that. And then this one, this one can be tucked kind of under and down here. And we'll use this area to journal. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. So let me just make sure all of my adhesive is stuck down so that these aren't moving around. Okay, so now we just need a couple of embellishments. You'll notice they've only got one, one cluster really of um, embellishments here, but because we have a two page spread, I'm more inclined to try to do um, at least two maybe even three, and I pulled out a selection of different things that I thought might work so that maybe this will go faster. We could do a leprechaun. He's kind of cute. Most of these, well, some of them are, so the ones that are over here on this side are CM. And then these over here on this side are from um, Echo Park. Just in case you're curious. And I don't remember which one this one is. So he'll be kind of in the middle. <laughs> okay, so this one says, May the luck of the Irish always be with you. And um, I was kind of thinking that that would be cute along with lucky and blessed. And maybe something about shenanigans. I like this one. We're just here. I'm just here for the shenanigans. But I don't know if that's necessarily appropriate. You're my lucky charm. Might be cute. We could put that in right here. May the luck of the Irish always be with you. And we could say lucky and blessed. Over here. So we want to look for the nooks and the crannies and the and that's where we'll want our embellishments to go okay so um, and I apologize if I slip into some kind of 
false Irish accent. I've been listening to Irish music on um, Spotify and um, it's always been kind of easy for my brain to sort of slip into. So I apologize. Um, let's see. Lucky and blessed. Should we say let the shenanigans begin? Treasured moments. This one doesn't really match the blue, the green. But then again, we've got a lot of different colors on here, so we could. Hmm. So the You're My Lucky Charm, I was thinking would be cute there because the whole reason that mom was buying a clatter ring was because she was, she's missing dad. So I thought it would be a good, a good, notion you know that 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 ring reminds her of dad so that's good okay i think i think we need something another something up i could add this little guys these little guys Lucky and blessed. Maybe like that. Maybe. I think I'm going to go with that. Okay, so let me get these put together and then we'll see how everything turns out.
All right, there we go. What do we think? Oh. What do we think? I like it. I think um, with so many photos on there, I I lose a little bit of the of the cool chevroni look, but but that's okay. I'm okay with it. I th I think it's cute, and I I like. I like that I did the matting in the in the yellow to kind of pull the the gold out of this print right here so that it's a little bit more noticed. So yeah, if some some journaling will do, go down here or maybe a title will go here and and I'll uh, figure out something else for some journaling. We don't really need a title though, I guess, because we've got it right here. So, so maybe this will this will just be journaling down here. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to hear it, and I love to um, try to get back to uh, everyone who comments. So, um, if you felt overlooked because I missed it somehow, I do apologize. But um, until next time, I hope you have many more creative moments. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.